Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Aqua Carpatica Spring Water. Next up is Windy Hollow Artisan Spring Water. So what do these two waters have in common? They're both in glass bottles. They're both from salaciousdrinks.com. They're both European. This one is from Romania. This one is from Scotland. And they're both pretty expensive. This one was $4.00 plus shipping the windy hollow water was fifteen dollars for a single bottle that's it's pretty expensive for water fifteen dollars like you can get like a, a nice meal for fifteen dollars i'm just getting some water and so let's start off with the windy hollow water as you can see it's still in the box because opening it up is sort of part of the experience part of like the presentation so here we go. You have the Windy Hollow logo on the outside. The rest of it's just basic, like just cardboard. And you open it up. Came with some bubble wrap. Keep it safe. This, I don't know if Salacious Drinks added this or if Windy Hollow added this, but came with bubble wrap. Keep it protected. Some plastic. Keep it safe. And this is the bottle itself. There's nothing on the back of it. It's just a simple label. The label just says Windy Hollow Artisan Spring Water. And then take a sip of history. That's all it says. And then inside the box, there's like... First of all, there's a note for people who bought it. And then there's like hay. It's like straw or hay or grass or something and um there's a like a strong smell it smells like flowers actually but like it's just it's just here for a presentation it's like hey you spent 15 bucks here's some hay <laughs> um let's set this aside and here's a note from windy hollow have you guys ever bought in a bottle of water that came with a note to you it's like it's like hey um hey guys we're windy hollow we've been around since the 1850s uh they really like i'm just i'm not saying it verbatim but they like organic stuff like they like water they like uh hydropathy so hydropathy is the treatment of illnesses through the use of water that's what it is Windy Hollows is like a farm slash spa place in Scotland that people go to to be treated by water for internal and external use. And so a lot of this is just hype and presentation. Like they could have used standard printer paper, but they obviously used you know like thicker aged looking paper just to you know just build up the hype for the experience and stuff so that's that and then the bottle is pretty simple it has a you know a little sticker thing here i guess so you know that nobody else has drank it not filled up to the top I'm paying 15 bucks why can't you fill it up to the top sleepy or windy hollow um Let's see if I can peel this off and then open it and then put it back on. No, I can't because the sticker part came off a little bit. All right. So this is 15 bucks. It's <laughs> sort of difficult for me to justify spending 15 and then four plus shipping. It's like 20 bucks for this video. Um, if I'm lucky... I'll probably make a dollar from ads on this video. So it's like, it's costing me about 20 bucks for this video. So I have to do like mental gymnastics to justify spending that money. But, um, but I get this experience though of drinking this though. So this better be some freaking really good water. Um, they claim this has a pH level of 7.7. .7. The Aqua Carpatica water claims to have an 8.2 pH level. This one also comes in a plastic version, which I guess is cheaper, and um, they have a sparkling version. 
I paid $4 plus shipping for this. I was watching some other reviews on YouTube about this water. Everyone had good stuff to say about this water. But <laughs> I saw somebody going like, oh, I got this from the store for 90 cents. So I feel a little bit ripped off spending $4 plus shipping for <laughs> for this. And somebody else was in Europe and they were like, oh, I paid uh, $2 for this. And they, they thought that was expensive. And I'm paying like more than double what they paid. So... But this is a really fancy bottle. I haven't even tested the water yet, but this is like a, such a nice, if I, if I collected bottles, this would be definitely one I saved. It feels like a like a fancy vodka bottle. You know, if you had um, a liquor cabinet, you'd put this in there. Nice, good quality lid, metallic lid on it. Just look, I mean, doesn't that look nice? They have a uh, custom glass with their logo and aqua on the side. Good design. They, they do have nutritional information, which I think would look better without it. Like, this one doesn't have the nutritional information because I think that means that it's just bottled straight from the source. If they alter the water in any way, if they filter it, if they do anything to the water, then I think they're required to have the nutritional information. So I guess this means Aqua Carpatica probably filtered their water in some way. So, let's open them up and do a taste test. I didn't see any reviews or, like, anything on YouTube about this Windy Hollow water. I'm going to be the first. I did see some websites that are like, hey, check out these super expensive waters. And they're listing, like, like the Boulevard water and the Beverly Hills 90H2O water and then this one. Because this is like just known for being expensive. No pop. It, no, they didn't have the Snapple pop on top. No, no strong. I mean, almost like a campfire smell. Actually, that's weird. Like um, if I was like three hundred feet from a campfire, it would have like a slight smell to it. All right. I mean, that's good water. That's really good water. No no bad aftertaste. I mean, I can't complain. It's, there's nothing, no plasticky taste to it. Looks like pretty thin glass. So you're getting more value, you get more water in there. So it's $15. I think each sip I take is about $1.50 worth of water. Another dollar fifty down the drain. Oh boy! All right, here's the Aqua Carpatica. Might be pronouncing that wrong. Sorry. This is such a good bottle. No, no smell to it. just very clean and pure um, with this one they were saying that this is good for people with high blood pressure and I have high blood pressure so I guess this is good for me they said there's no I think they said there's no nitrates in this and no calories no fat no sodium no carbs no protein uh, has some calcium has some magnesium has some the total dissolved solids is 200 that. It's kind of a high high TDS, isn't it? Two hundred. As far as the taste goes, there's no no clear winner so far. Both getting a thumbs up from me so far. This is gonna be a tough one because they're both pretty close. Ah, boy, let's uh let's test out the pH level. All right, here's the results of the pH test, <laughs> guys. I gotta say. Windy Hollow is noticeably more acidic than they advertise. They advertise a 7.7. .7. I'm colorblind, so you guys judge for yourself, but Windy Hollow looks kind of like a 6. Doesn't it? Or am I crazy? 
leave a comment what, what pH level you think they match up with. You know, guys, this hay actually does smell pretty good. It's making the room smell like I'm in a forest or something. That's kind of surprising that it still smells like that. Because I actually bought this Windy Hollow water about a year ago. I bought this in June of 2018. So I guess it just stayed fresh with that smell because it was in the box. Like, um, and if you leave a cardboard box laying around for a long time in a drawer, it might have like a musty smell to it. But no, it smells like, like flowers, which is kind of nice. You know, paying 15 bucks for water, but it has a flowery smell. Doesn't this sort of feel like a moonshine bottle? Like, it's just so simple. It's such a simple label. It looks like it was just slapped on there by hand, probably. Looks like they kind of rushed to to make it. It's like <laughs> kind of a childish font on there. And then the rest of the bottle is just blank. Like they, um, you know, we're just in the woods <laughs> assembling this. I guess they were. Like Windy Hollow. I keep feeling like I should say Sleepy Hollow, but it's it's Windy Hollow. I really have nothing else to say about these waters. They both taste very similar. Just like very pure, very clean. They have a slight, uh, slight glass taste to them, but that's to be expected. That's not a bad thing either. That's a good way to test water. Drink a lot of it. And see how your stomach feels. Right, my, right now my stomach feels pretty good. You know. A bad dirty water. You drink a bunch of it. You'll notice like your stomach feeling like a little bit upset. But. Not with these. These are good quality waters. Has uh, natural electrolytes. Naturally sodium free. Naturally nitrate free. And again. Just really good quality fancy bottle With that last chug I'm getting like a little bit of dirt dirt flavor at the very end this doesn't feel like this alone does not feel like a $15 bottle like <laughs> if I was a millionaire I wouldn't pack my fridge with this if I if I had an unlimited amount of money like, I just, I don't know. I would feel like this is more fancy than this. This is more worth $15 than this. I just don't, I don't get it. It's it's good. There's nothing wrong with the flavor, nothing wrong with the taste. I just don't get it for $15. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. My palate is not expanded enough to understand why this is worth fifteen dollars so anyway as far as the taste goes it's like a tie but I'm gonna say that the winner is this one because it's a better value better bottle and imagine if you bought like a hundred of these how much hay you would have to clean up and stuff and it's like, this is, they say it's all about the environment, all about the earth, all about being organic. Think of how much, like, CO2 was emitted by mailing this across the, you know, the ocean, or a cargo ship taking this across the ocean. You know? If you want to be about the environment, cool. Go for it. But it seems hypocritical to, like ship stuff ship water when it's when it's not significantly better than other waters anyway <laughs> I'm having buyers remorse right now buying this 15 bucks all right thanks for watching everyone <laughs> goodbye